Greetings. I wanted to talk about sprints, which is just high intensity. Some very important, very productive in raising your hormone levels to build muscles. If you look at it, sprinters, very muscular, generally speaking, I mean, high level sprinters, it's like they work out, and I guess they do, but just the sprinting itself, you get all of that weight moving at such a fast speed, incredible muscle power there. Uh, and there's a there's a benefit from that in terms of putting so much androgen, so much uh, testosterone. I always call it in your in, into your bloodstream, and everything is going to get stronger. That's a benefit of sprinting. Joggers and marathoners, scrawny. And I uh, know it doesn't have to be, but uh, even marathoners they can be uh, skinny fat, just kind of soft and flabby. If you know if you know that phenomenon, then you know then you know what I'm talking about. If you're not familiar with it, uh, acquaint yourself it, uh, with it. Uh, long, slow distance. Yeah, you're burning calories, but you're not doing a whole lot for muscle building. So sprinting, really, really good, uh, high intensity work. And I'm not talking about well, 100 meters. And here's what I wanted to say. Don't don't sprint. Don't do not sprint. Jog, and then go a little faster, and then a little faster over time. And you're pacing yourself. You've got your distance. You take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in that session, and then you go a little faster. Then you go faster, and pretty soon you're running. And eventually, after weeks or some months, then you're sprinting. Now I'm I'm talking about going about not going slower about having a longer process because of just about a guarantee you think you're going <laughs> to you think you're going to go out and sprint and run as fast as you can you're going to pull something you're just going to pull something then now you've got to take x amount of time off to recover not smart not a smart thing so you it's been a long time since most people have done that kind of running if you stop playing basketball or stop playing you know, f football, soccer, you haven't run for a long time, you used to be such a fantastic in set shape, but you're not now. The weekend warrior gets hurt. He gets injured. It just happens. You, I was going to say you know what I'm talking about, but you should know what I'm talking about. So that's one thing. You, you work progressively. You ease your body into it. That's major. So just be responsible. You know, you want you want to be beautiful. Respect yourself. Respect your body. You're not you, you are not a rented car. Don't drive yourself like there's no consequence because there is. The other thing is, if you've got 30, 20, 40, 50 extra pounds, do not sprint. Don't sprint. Do not do it. Go for a run. Go for a fast walk. Go for a, a, a bit of a jog. Eventually, you go for distances. That's fine. Eventually, you can kind of turn it into a run. My point is, you're carrying 50 extra pounds. That is a bag of cement that you're carrying around. And if you've not been active, then you've got your tendons and your ligaments. Muscles can adapt. Ligaments, tendons, joints, uh, they don't adapt as quickly. And if you've not put a demand on them, they're not going to get better. You put a little bit of demand on your muscle, you walk upstairs carrying all that, that extra bag of cement that, you, that, that you've been carrying around with you all the time, your muscles are going to adapt. It's like the calves of an active fat guy. Massive, there's massive calves. And because he's an active fat guy, he's carrying all that extra weight around and those calves are really, really working. They're going upstairs and he's active. Maybe you've been active and you've got all this extra weight. Active is one thing. Running hard is something else. You have to be smart about it. So do not be sprinting as a, as a start thing. It takes a long time. The reason cartilage is white is it doesn't have a lot of blood flow. Why is muscle red? That's not the color of that tissue, except it's full, as it were, of blood. Cartilage is white for a reason. It's never going to be red. You can't do anything about that. You can, uh, you can get more blood flow to it. You can increase the blood flow, but it's still a very small amount of blood flow. And that means the nutrients that are going to cause, the, cause it to, to grow, it's going to be much slower. It's a slow process. Uh, nothing wrong with that, but you have to be smart about it. So the, the benefit of sprinting, suppose you're, you have been running, and suppose you don't have a lot of weight, so you're in pretty good shape and, you know, test it a few times. Uh, you, you don't sprint every day. You do it once or twice, or, you know, if you're three times a week, but not every day. Uh, it's too much. This is the benefit. 
hormones. Very, very muscle building. So I wanted to say that, just the two things about start slowly, don't do it with a lot of weight, and the benefit is very, very real.